Hello, everybody. It is time to read chapter eight of New Kid. But let's do a little review of the last chapter like we always do. So this one, Jordan went out and got some Chinese food with his grandpa, and they had a nice talk about his new school, his friends, and his grandpa asked some questions that I think will lead to some changes for the rest of the book. He asked, why can't General Tso's chicken and pepper steak get along? Why can't you have both? So Jordan wanted to test it out, and you all talked about what General Tso's chicken and pepper steak actually meant in this case, and it seemed to turn out really good. So let's see what it's like in chapter eight. So let's start chapter eight. Straight out of South Uptown. I do know this reference. It's a reference to the song Straight Out of Compton. Let's get started. Back from Thanksgiving break. So where did you go skiing? We went to Aspen. It was amazing. Andy, how was skiing? Awesome, Colin. Hey, maybe you can come with us to the to Hawaii for Christmas. We went to Jackson Hole. It was so cool. You should have seen the snow in Alta. You went all the way to Alaska to ski? Oh yeah, it was so worth it. I've been going to Vail since I was a kid. You should have seen my dad try to snowboard. He almost died. It's on my Instagram. We went to our place in the Adirondacks. We went skiing in Vermont. Me too. We should have hung out. I just want to go back home, Drew. That makes two of us, Jordan. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed your break. We're about to head over to our school-wide book fair, but first, we're going to pick our secret Santas. Each person will receive three gifts. The first two can be anything. You can decorate someone's locker, bake goodies, or even write a poem. The last one should be a purchase, but you are not to spend more than $10. On your way out, make sure you pick, the, pick a name from this bag. Any questions? Yes, D Drew. Oh, she caught herself this time. Ooh, is there financial aid for those who qualify? Bring. So he's getting a little smart with, with Miss Raw. We know that they're not very fond of each other. Dude, what was that about? I thought she was going to send you to detention. I'm starting not to care what Miss Raw thinks. She's never going to like me anyways, so I might as well give her what she wants, right? We just don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'd hate to have to beg Murray to be my friend. He'll make me eat squash. See, I always knew that you and Murray were bros. Come on, let's just go to the book fair. Okay, so, um, hey, who did you guys get for Secret Santa? I got Ashley. You mean Gossip Girl? Well, your gifts better not stink, because she'll tell the whole school. Ugh, I got Andy's little minion. Colin? Well, at least it's not Andy. I got Graham. I don't really know him, but... Oh well. You guys getting anything? Nah. I've got extra cash if you need. And you guys don't have to pay me back. I mean, unless you want to. We'll see. Thanks, Liam. I'm gonna go pick up the new wimpy kid for Grayson. He's homesick today. BRB. Oh man, I used to love those. Me too. And what about Percy Jackson? Yep, read every single one. I just don't see a lot that interests me anymore. I miss that. Me too. Now I just mainly get books on how to draw. And then here's a little section of the book fair. African American escapist literature. Escape from gang life. Escape from slavery. Escape from poverty. Escape. Escape from prison. Boys, I've picked out the perfect books for you. Real books, Alex. Not those silly comic books. And Murray. This book has won all the major awards for African American literature. The Magic of the Magical Magicon. A Magical Adventure. The Mean Streets of South Uptown. A Greedy Tale of Survival. You're really going to identify with DeQuell, the protagonist. He suffered so much growing up in poverty without a father. Um, thanks, Miss Brickner. But my dad is the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Oh, true. Here we go. 
It's happening again. She's, she based what book she thought Murray would like based on his skin color. You don't want to do that. Here we have another page out of Jordan's uh, sketchbook. Judging kids by the cover of their books. Mainstream books. The Magic of the Magical Magicon, A Magical Adventure. And African American books. The Mean Streets of South Uptown. Mainstream book covers are cool, colorful illustrations full of magic and hope. African American book covers are a depressing photograph full of realism and hopelessness. Mainstream book plots. Prince Amy, Prince Amy, Prince A, I don't know how to say that. Amy, Amy? No. Prince Amy leaves his dull life to slay a dragon, rescue Princess Bria, and prove to his father that one day he'll make a worthy king. African American book plots. After moving to his third city in three years, Dequel Scooter Jackson must decide if he will pursue his dream of being in the NBA or join a notorious gang. Mainstream book heroes. Lives in a magical kingdom. Lives in a stable home. Wants to live better. His father is king. African American book heroes. Lives in the hood. Lives in a broken home. Just wants to live. His father is gone. Reviews of the mainstream books. A thrilling, magical tale that is sure to inspire readers of all ages to never give up until they have found the treasure they seek. Reviews of the African American book. A gritty, urban reminder of the grit of today's urban grittiness. Secret Santa. Day one. Ooh, check it out. Brownies. Yum. Beats my broken candy canes. What did you get, Drew? Giant cookies in the shape of basketballs. Nice, I think. Secret Santa, day two. Whoa, amulet. This must be from Alex. Hello, Mr. Oreo. Knock it off, Liam. No, wait, Murray, I... Murray? What did you get today? A gift certificate. Cool, from where? KFC. So if we remember back from one of the early chapters, people call er I almost called him Oreo. People call Murray Mario as a little joke on Oreos. And it just so happened that right when he was walking by, Liam got his gift of a box of Oreos, and Murray thought that he was making fun of him. Secret Santa, final day. Surprise, Ashley. I'm your secret Santa. A pumpkin pie? Thanks. <laughs> no, it's sweet potato. I helped my dad make it. Sweet potatoes? She's imagining potatoes mixed with sugar, and we know that's not what sweet potatoes are. No, no, sweet potatoes, you know, like yams. Um, I don't know what a yam is. And here we have the picture of, again that we saw with Murray where they're on two different worlds. But in this case, they slowly start to come together. So is this like a giant niche, but sweet? Uh, I don't know what a niche is. I hope that, I don't even know what a niche is. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Hmm, okay. Have you ever had sweet potato fries? Sure, they're awesome. Oh, okay, then like, thanks for the yam pie, Jordan. Y you're welcome. Hey, Drew Brees. Sup, Jorel. You okay? I don't know. The Secret Santa stuff is freaking me out. Look what I got. Day one. Cookies shaped like basketballs. Day two. A gift certificate for KFC. So? Think, Jordan. Basketballs, fried chicken, and now a chocolate Santa? Come on, man. How do you think this looks? Delicious. Jordan. Well. Oh, I get it. Don't you actually like all that stuff? Well, you know that, but why would anyone else give me these things? Andy. Man, I'm so sick of that guy. I'm going to let him know. Here he is, storming towards Andy and Colin. Surprise, Drew. I'm your secret Santa. 
Ashley, I hope you like all your presents. I worked really hard on them. I baked and decor- I baked and decorated all the basketball cookies myself. I know you like basketball because you have a Knicks poster in your locker. New York Knicks are an NBA team, for those that don't know. I got you a KFC gift certificate because who doesn't love KFC, right? We should go one day. My treat. Then I got you a chocolate Santa because I love chocolate. And this little guy is just so cute. It would be a shame to eat him. But oh well. Yeah. I guess he is kind of cute. Thanks, Ashley. See, when he was getting all these gifts, he thought that whoever his secret Santa was was just being like racist and making jokes about him. And that's why he thought it was Andy, because Andy is known to be the guy that makes insensitive jokes. But it turns out it was Ashley just being nice, and she had reasonable explanations for all of them. No problem. Enjoy. And thanks again for the potato pie, Jordan. Sweet potato. Drew's got a girlfriend. Man, I gotta go. Buy my widow chocolate Santa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Excuse me, Drew. Oh, hey, Murray. I got this from my secret Santa, but I thought you'd like it more. Happy holidays. And it's the book, The Mean Streets of South Uptown. Um, thanks. Hey, Jordan, you want to come over during the break? To your house? No, to my sports locker. Duh, of course to my house. Then I can beat you in 2K in person. Oh, it's on. Text me your info. And uh, when you come over, try not to, you know, judge, okay? Okay, sure. I mean, friends don't judge, and we're friends, right? You bet we are. See you soon. Hey, little dude, you were awesome in the George Washington musical. (sighs) Only five and a half more years left. And that is the end of chapter eight. So for our question, I'm going to do something a little different and do a prediction question for the next chapter. So we see chapter nine is called a Kwanzaa story. And we know they're doing Secret Santa, so we can kind of picture the time frame of when this section of the story is happening. What is Kwanzaa? Does anybody know what Kwanzaa is? And can you base off of the picture, the chapter nine title picture, can you guess what Kwanzaa is? Try to make predictions and see if you're right in the next chapter. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching.